All right, welcome back and let's get into it. We have Bitcoin. Bitcoin is back over 70,000 right now. It just broke as of Monday morning, Monday noon. Uh, looking good, 70,115. Indicators going up. Uh, we have an ETF right here. Fidelity's by, uh, just as example, is up. Some energy is going up. We have a crypto miner going up. I made some, uh, made about 15% off this one, dumped it. I may get back in. It's up nine cents. Uh, not bad. Let's see. XLE is an energy ETF. But anyway, let's focus on Misty. Misty is, uh, Basically, a yield max product came out this year with Michael Saylor's MicroStrategy company. It doesn't buy MicroStrategy, doesn't short MicroStrategy. It's all through options. I'd go check it out because um, it is high risk. Obviously, it goes up and down. Look at this chart. You can see. But it pays a hugely, a huge dividend. Unbelievable. If you can stomach the ups and downs on this thing, it is impressive. You are actually getting... I'm not kidding. Go look at it. Go look it up. Yield Max. It's a Yield Max MSTR Option Income Strategy ETF. Not for everybody. I'm telling you, do your own reading, do your own research. Like everybody says, this is for entertainment and what I've done. It may not be for everyone. Uh, as I speak, I'm up on it, but I did get the dividend and it's 153%. So you take 10,000 bucks. And say you times 150 percent. Let's just round it. You know that's 1,500 bucks, or 1,500 bucks a month, pretty much on that 10,000 dollars you're gonna get, right? Um, pretty impressive. So you just take it by that percentage. I thought it, I didn't believe it. I thought okay, it must be a misprint. I just wanted to buy it because you know the Bitcoin's going up and MicroStrategy is tied really heavily into Bitcoin. But when I saw, oh, 153%, what is that? Is that for real? That can't, that must be a typo, right? But again, yeah, 10,000 bucks, say you have in there, 150%. Uh, boy, oh boy, you're going to get 1,500 bucks in dividend dumped into your account. And the beauty of it is you, if you're doing this through your IRA or your Roth IRA, you're not going to worry about paying taxes on those dividends. Blammo, beautiful, right? And, you know, IRAs, obviously, you'll pay RMDs, require minimal distributions when you get to that age to be pulling those out. Whether you're lucky or not lucky to make it to that age, you know, getting old is never fun. But uh, that's the time you'll pay taxes on those gains. But Roth, you're good. You're free and clear. Uh, pretty amazing stuff. Yeah, I like this. I don't know if I'll buy more in. So say you put in 20K at the current dividend, which, you know, they have the right to change. It can go up, can go down, can go to zero. But right now, I did get one. I can actually testify and say, yes, I got a month's worth of dividends from Yield Max is uh, MSTR, uh, Misty Fund, MSTY, and based on MicroStrategy. And I'm just like, are you joking me? Uh, whether volatility is going to be there or not, you know, I think things may be good for the next month or so. But so you put the money in and the thing crashes, then you're in the hole. Will you still be getting that dividend? That's the unknown. It's the risk, right? It's the risk reward thing. Uh, but it's right now, I'm just saying you put 10K in, boom, as of um, getting paid out early June, it was like, wow, it actually is for real. So pretty impressive. That's what I want to talk about today. There is, pro there are, is, there are products out there that you can make money on. But again, it's what is your stomach? Can you sleep at night with the high up and down risk and all this stuff? Uh, right now, Bitcoin's looking back, looking good again. It was down 69. I think it got, I don't think it broke below 69. Lots of consolidation going on with the big boys, the ETFs. Inflow of money is still there into these ETFs. It's not depleting. We did have that little setback. I think it was Grayscale, those little greedy bastards. They were charging huge fees uh, for getting into their ETFs. And that just irked a lot of people when they look at, Vanguard, BlackRock, Fidelity charging no fees. And I know Fidelity, I think, has waived all their fees until August time frame. And then they'll start putting in their fee on whatever, you know, their expenses and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, Grayscale, I think it was Grayscale. Yeah, Grayscale kind of shot the pooch and then people were exiting it. 
going, wait a minute, I can get a better deal elsewhere. So again, greed of these companies can hurt certain things short term, but in the long term, we're seeing Bitcoin consolidating, people putting more and more money back into it. Uh, it's not going out. And we got the, uh, I think, was it Hong Kong ETFs are open? China, China uh, opened up their ETFs. So more influx of money. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting times to hold this. I know we're on the precipice. Pre precipice? Precipice. <laughs> English is fun, right? Precipice of uh, the economy collapsing, which it probably will, because as we get close to the election, it's just they're just fudging the numbers. But right now with Bitcoin, uh, it's looking good. I'm still pro Bitcoin. And that's just for entertainment only. Do not put any money in if you're willing to lose it, man. <laughs> that's my advice to everyone. You know, uh, it may, it, there is nothing wrong with having your money sit in a 5% money market right now. That's, that's a win. I mean, you're, you're sort of safe. Uh, the banks could collapse. So are you FDI and IC insured? Yeah. <laughs> you got, are you really ever safe with your money unless it's in your mattress? You know, I mean, I have no idea. Uh, banks right now are iffy. Two, credit unions may be more stable than banks, but now some credit unions are buying banks as well. It's like, who knows what the hell is going on? But it doesn't look good. But right now, I'm just saying with the Bitcoin uh, derivatives and the Bitcoin itself, der derivatives meaning stuff like Misty that you know buys in directly uh, from other companies involved with Bitcoin, like MicroStrategy. The guy, Sailor, loves his Bitcoin. And uh, he's all in, man. It's pretty interesting. So this is one of the best yield, dividend yields uh, of yield max. Misty is one of the highest ones right now. There's another one called Crash, which goes against Tesla. It counts on Tesla going down. And like I said in my other videos, Tesla, no one's buying EVs, not just Tesla. EVs are just, sales are flat. Early adopters have bought their cars. There's such a high risk of uh, fire with these things. Thermal runaway, which is scaring, scares the crap out of me. And uh, insurance costs and maintenance costs, repair costs, any accident to these cars are totaled because just to repair them is ridiculous and the threat of damaging any of those cells can cause the whole battery pack to catch on fire not good um anyway that's where i'm at what are you guys doing today are you buying bitcoin you're watching bitcoin i'm debating what to do things are moving up which is kind of nice i might i might get some more of the misty it's high risk move very high risk move you may regret it you may not regret it and you may be happy you just don't know you really don't know with this stuff right now but you just got to believe that maybe Bitcoin's going up and these other guys, these derivatives like the miners right here, Wolf, the um, ETFs and the uh, like the yield max products will go along with it. Bito is another one, B-I-T-O. I do not own this one, but you get, oh my God, they raised the rate. It was 18. Now it's 21%. You get a monthly dividend. And this is a pro shares Bitcoin strategy ETF. I don't know enough about it. Uh, but hey, you want to get 21% holding a derivative of Bitcoin? There you go. Right now, owning Bitcoin, you don't get anything. You're just holding it, right? You're not getting your dividend. But be careful with some of that stuff. Because with uh, that crappy Voyager product and BlockFi, remember they gave you rewards if you put your Bitcoin and your stuff on their account. You got the monthly rewards, which you did, but it was almost like a Ponzi scheme and it did come crashing down and people lost everything. Uh, I got out just in time. like probably a month and a half before I just got it out and held my own stuff because not your keys, not your coins, pros and cons. You know what I mean? That's where we're at. All right. Anyway, just wanted to, so just wanted to point out, Hey, we got Bitcoin moving back up, looking good. Let's see what happens the rest of the month. I'm feeling good about it. You may have some pullback, may some, may, but it, I don't know. I think it's got to go higher just the way things are moving right now. Uh, let's see. And that's where I'm at. All right. I will see you. I'll see you in the next one. All right, take care.